They're playing two wingers. Did well. Wilkins still down the right if he needs him. But he's got Locke coming through. The nearest we've been to a goal and the nearest that Gary Locke will come without scoring. That was Droy. And as Maybach goes in, a foul on the goalkeeper. Peter Taylor again on the ball. Evans. Well, Palace got him in. Little descent going on between Evans and Ron Harris, but there was no doubt about who was first to the ball. Good challenge by Whittle and brought away by Chatterton, and Peter Taylor is onside. Being joined now by Chatterton Square. But Taylor goes alone and goes well. Oh, he hit the bar. Chatterton's there. Chatterton raises his arms in delight. The Palace supporters celebrate, but all the credit to Peter Taylor. Taylor, who was on the break there, prepared to take them on, went round the back got a shot and it crashed against the underside and seemed to come out and Nicky Chatterton did the rest and Whittle who benefited Swindlehurst going through the middle here's Taylor again and Palace now is stretching Chelsea Chatterton's going inside again there he is on again for Taylor well this man may well have won the tie in the space of two minutes just look at the joy on the Palace faces. Peter Taylor takes Chelsea apart and Malcolm Allison raises the hat. Taylor this time, the scorer himself, although again he made it really, brought it inside, got the return from Chatterton and that low left foot shot beat Vanetti. Swindlehurst holding things up. He got support from Hinchlewood, now Whittle. Looking for Taylor, and again he was in a little bit of space, was Peter Taylor, more than Chelsea can afford to give him. It's a beautiful cross, Hinchelwood! Martin Hinchelwood so very, very close to number three, but Peter Taylor again was the man. Taylor. Taylor again. And again. Oh, what power in that one. He's just as good with either foot as Peter Taylor, left or right. The left again there, just like the one that scored the goal. Garner! Good save! The closest Chelsea have been. Garner got to the near post, and no wonder Chatterton bats Paul Hammond on the head, because that was a good reflex save. On a bitterly cold afternoon. This time away by Cannon. Here's Harris. Wilkins! They're appealing for offside, but it won't be given. Wilkins has scored for Chelsea. Just the goal they wanted to get back in the fight, but it comes from the 19-year-old skipper and sends the shed wild. Knocked back in again by Ronnie Harris and Wilkins seizing his chance really lashed that one past Hammond. Chelsea going in the middle of the field, finding Locke. Whittle has tracked him back. Here's Hay. That's a good looking ball. Maybach, Garner! And at last, with David Hay now on the field. Chelsea are beginning to find one or two gaps that didn't seem to be there in the first half. And Wicks have pushed up for the corner to support Garner in the air. Wicks! Oh, yes! What a moment for the 19-year-old defender. He can't believe it. Steve Wicks has equalised. In his first season, he gets a goal he'll never forget. The corner from the right, Wicks up at the far post, 
and it's 2 2. Taylor! Oh, what a goal by Peter Taylor! And what a one man performance! He's making this for Palace. And no wonder Malcolm takes the hat off again. Palace are back in front. Taylor's second, their third. Swindlehurst ran over the ball, and Taylor coming in behind, chipped beautifully past Bonetti. Third's David Hayes since he came on, but this is Swindlehurst. Good try, awkward one that. Bouncing not very far in front. have really made it hard for Chelsea these last ten minutes to in the important area of the field, and there it is. Third Division Crystal Palace are in the last eight. And the man that put them there was Peter Taylor, scorer and maker of the first half goals, and then after a marvellous Chelsea recovery to 2-2, producing that beautiful goal from the free kick, which was good enough in the end to win the tie. And the London derby that lived up to all expectations ends with a scoreline of Chelsea 2, Crystal Palace.